Hey there Sagittarius, welcome to Shared Ascensions. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Uh, this is going to be your general your monthly reading for the remainder of October. Any information you all need, you can find it in the description box. I do have personals open up until October 21st. Um, you could also check me out on Patreon where I post additional content for each sign. There will be an extended to this reading over there. So let's start for you, Sagittarius. At work or money on the brain or something that you're wanting to build here. Communication looks a little stuck, all right? So I, I feel like there's something here that you don't want to say. There's something that you're worried about for some of you. You could be pouring yourself into work here, Sagittarius, or into money or into something else. It's like you are just completely shifting your focus away from something, um, which is fine, but I feel like it is um, a situation that can be talked about. It's something that can be talked about. Yeah, that's what it looks like with that Eight of Swords. So let's look at your Earth energy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Money looks good, okay? It looks like there's looks like you could be receiving some kind of uh, communication about money. Higher energy. All right. Your overall is the hair font here. So I feel like you guys are in a space, Sagittarius, where you're kind of building walls, all right? So I don't know what's going on with that energy, but it seems like you're building walls, the moon, emotionally. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, showing up for your thoughts, you've got the eight of pentacles. So you could have a Virgo on the brain here. You've got Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio as well. Um, lots of different signs showing up, different placements. But the eight of pentacles in particular is putting in the work on something. It's building something. It's being very focused on one thing and one thing only. So I think that for a lot of you, you're trying to shift your focus away from whatever is causing you to feel stuck. Whatever it is that you can't control at this point in time, which if you, if you genuinely can't control it, then that's okay but I do feel like for some of you this is something that can be talked about okay you got the eight of swords showing up in communication so somebody here could have Jupiter and Gemini but it's like there's something that's worrying you or there's something that's confusing you and you could be choosing not to say anything about it all right You've got the Seven of Cups showing up for what you need to ground. So yes, this is a very confused kind of energy here. Just feeling kind of left in the dark about something or um, like there's something that's unknown when the Seven of Cups shows up. It's like something is unknown. I think you could receive the truth here, all right? You could have the truth, but there's like a very stubborn energy that's getting in the way there. Um, be mindful of temptation here in the remainder of October as well when it comes to... Um, work or business or money there's some kind of temptation here it's like you know you shouldn't do something this could be like making a really big purchase um this could be loaning out a lot of money it could be something like that but um i do feel as if they're asking you to have some boundaries set some boundaries uh you got the sun card showing up i do think you're going to be receiving some kind of good news about work or money all right something that's going to make you really happy here with the sun card could be starting something new as well Showing up for how you feel, you have the King of Swords. I think you're in a really detached space, or you're trying to detach Sagittarius from your emotions in the remainder of October, okay? It's like there's something here that every time you address it, it kind of takes you to, to the depths of things, is how that feels with the Moon card showing up. So I think that's why you're in this space. Um, I do feel like you could communicate with this person. Once again, like this could be an Aries. You've got a lot of Sun cards showing up. We've got Sun in Virgo. We've got the Sun. We've got Sun in Aries. What's happening here? Also for your fire energy, you have the five of wands, Saturn and Leo. This is showing up for what you're creating. So this is some kind of conflict here. Um, and what you're destroying is the king of cups. All right. So it's like there's potential for someone to be honest or for you to be honest uh, and open and get things out on the table here. But the five of wands energy is what's being created. It's like something is being made a lot harder than it has to be. What's going on up here with the air energy? Can we clarify the air energy for Sagittarius, please, for the remainder of October? Knight of Wands, that's your energy. Yeah, so there's there's potential for something new here. Um, with, the, with the Knight of Wands, that talks about adventure, personal freedom, and I think that could be also what's going on in the Five of Wands as well. This talks about adventure, personal freedom uh, also, okay? So there's a new desire here. There's something that you're really craving, uh, something new that you're wanting. You may be feeling limited, but I do feel like you're kind of limiting yourself. I just saw 444 as I looked at the camera. I do think you're kind of limiting yourself here. For some of you, it's like there's this really wishy-washy energy that you're connecting with, and it's like things, things are being 
being made so much harder than, than they have to be, okay? So really speaking on what you want here, what you desire, and if you can't have that, then moving out of that space entirely, moving out of that energy, building elsewhere, you know, committing to what you're, what you're desiring here. What's happening? It's an earth energy, please. Two of cups. Venus and Cancer. Some of you, a connection is going to be um, grounded in reality here. It's going to be made official in some way, shape, or form. You've got the uh, hair font right here, so that could be a higher level of commitment for some of you here, Sagittarius. Got the Ten of Swords showing up to clarify your water energy, Sun and Gemini. The thing is, is that I feel like for a lot of you guys, Spirit is really asking you to kind of look at how this is affecting you long term. It's like some of you, you're willing to just carry this on your back forever. Whatever this is here, you're willing to just not ever discuss it. You're willing to just wait on it to, to reveal itself. And it's like King of Swords, they're, they're asking you to speak on this, okay? And you want to speak on it. Instead of detaching yourself from it, you want answers here. And you've got the Ten of Swords, 555 five, five on the camera. Like all these swords are, are weighing him down. And it's like... You're, you're avoiding this and it's going to catch up with you, right? He, he's face down. You know, all those swords are in his back. It's like it, they finally caught up with him. He was running. He was running. And they're wanting you to look at this, face it head on, okay? Um, and find the clarity that you need, all right? And deserve. What's going on with the fire energy, please, for Sagittarius? What's going on with that fire energy for Sagittarius? Page of Swords, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So like I said, with that five of one, like there's there's some chaos here, okay? Um, either you're watching a tower or somebody else is watching your tower here. It's like there's some telepathy going on with that hair font as well. It's like you know that somebody's going through something chaotic or they know you're going through something chaotic and it's not being discussed. It's not being talked about. If you're in communication with this person, you're you, the both of you are tiptoeing around it. It's complete chaos here. And the five of wands energy, like that, it just, you're creating more of it. You know, it's just adding up. It's just building up when you could be open and honest with one another here. So there's something about that like if this energy can't take place if this reciprocal energy can't take place then you're going to have to let that go with that ten of swords energy you've got the page of swords right here so not being willing to swing the sword all right um, they're, they're wanting you to do that to go for it all right some of you are afraid uh of something ending or of something really bad happening but they're wanting you to recognize that something really bad is happening already you know there's something here that you're having to avoid um you're having to take your focus off of it you're having to surrender what it is that you want you're having to hold your feelings back there's already something bad going on here so they're wanting you to just take the risk to have this communication to have this conversation all right um because it's only going to keep adding up it's not going to go away so uh for those of you who are joining me over on patreon please feel free to um or not please feel free, but um, get your yes or no question ready. But for those of you who are not joining me over there, please feel free to watch out for your other signs. If this is where we part, though, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate you guys, and uh, you all enjoy the rest of your month. Bye.